So, Bionic only gets deleted. I, uh, I click this, you go to this. Wiki integration, and we get a little fucking paragraph about Bionic being deleted. They couldn't even put a whole post to the fact that Bionic got deleted. This is ridiculous. And then now, about 20 minutes ago, the future of Bionic and PvP comes out. I read it, and it's fucking nonsense. So we're taking a step back. When the fuck did they put a step forward to PvP? This is ridiculous. I don't know, if, if, if they're stepping forward, it's been a fucking wine spot and half a shit update in three fucking years of waiting, is them stepping forward. I can't wait to see them when they step back. But it gets even fucking better. It gets even better, because that... Ooh, it's going to take them, what? Oh, oh, oh. It's going to take them a couple of months to bring back Bionic if we get it back anyway. As part of our ongoing commitment, we also hope to release Bionic in a couple of months. A couple of fucking months to bring it back? I cannot believe... Motherfuckers! And it gets even worse than that. It's the... Oh, 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 oh. During the downtime, the minigame will remain closed and items that are unique to its reward shop will be made available, av made available elsewhere. What? Fucking uniques! The shitty little god sword recolors that no one gives a sh- The shitty little hats that you can get in a week of Bionic. What fucking you- The shitty little fucking add-on. What are you gonna do? You gonna put that to gargoyles? What the fuck is- Re- Re- Anyways, it's fine. It's fine that they completely fucking obliterate this minigame from one video from Tall Vest. It's completely fine, even though they could have li simply limited the points, ma made points quite literally impossible to get. They could have got rid of hot zones. They could have actually actively banned the boosters. They could have done so many things. They could have made the store unredeemable. No, they just removed the whole fucking minigame for no real reason. Now we have to go to PvP worlds and be like, new blow star with one hand who doesn't use vest keys and rush everyone and be a fucking piece of shit. Thank you, Jagex. Thank you again for not only not updating PvP, but getting rid of PvP. This is a new low. Ho oh ho! Now, I'm not saying there wasn't problems with Bionic Hunter. Obviously, there was, but to remove the entire minigame randomly overnight from a single video makes no sense when literally a hundred of the best Bionic Hunter PK has been begging you and telling you the problems for fucking months. You've literally ignored them and you've just panic deleted the entire thing now i know there was problems yes but you could have literally disabled the point game disabled the store got rid of hot zones done active fucking banning it only would have took us one jacket month 15 minutes a fucking day to ban these people and the problems would have been solved why why to the love of god did you actually make a bounty hunter design discord and invite a lot of the best bounty hunter pks out there if you were just literally gonna ignore everything we told you and now you are you just deleting it? Why? Randomly deleting it? Fucking ridiculous! I think the biggest letdown for me was that with Bounty Hunter 2, when we were giving them the feedback, every single good suggestion we came up with that would have stopped a lot of these problems was simply told, Engine work. We can't do this. And they just completely glanced over it. I'll give you an example, okay? All of these challenges, like take your armor off. This is not what we suggested. We suggested kill with a specific setup and a specific weapon. And instead of putting any time into PvP because they give zero fucks, they simply just said engine work. Nope. Nope. And I know that just fucked the mic up, but that's what I'm sat on feeling like right now. And, like, they spend months and months and months to perfect Twisted Leagues, which is just dead man mode without any PvP. That's a different point, anyway. But everything PvP related is just nope, work, nope, nope. And then when it comes out half assed they wonder why. Think about it logically, a J mod works on the Bounty Hunter update in two days, and then they're confused why it's getting exploited, and it's fucking wrong, and the systems don't actually work. Really? Look at Mud Rock. Mud Rock was enjoying a ham fucking sandwich and made Last Man Standing while eating his sandwich on his lunch break. My G made Last Man Standing on his lunch break, and it still was good. If they put some effort into it, instead of just going, Meh, then maybe we'd get some good PvP. I don't want to be mad. And this isn't me. I'm not a mad, angry guy. I usually, if you watch my live streams or the videos, I usually laugh and enjoy PvP. But everything is just getting taken away. <laughs> everything is just bad. And it's just band aids. Or it's nothing. And now it's taking it away from the PvP community. Meanwhile, I sit back and I see these amazing PvM updates. Fucking. Like, I'm so hyped for this new boss that I'm gonna grind for this overpowered staff that I can't use in Bowie on there! But maybe I can rush in PvP with it. Because apparently that's all we can do in PvP worlds. <sighs> I don't like making these type of videos, guys, but it has to be said. This is my thoughts on the updates, guys. 
What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Am I completely wrong? Am I retarded for screaming like this? I, I probably. What the fuck am I going to do for a couple of months? Seriously? Do I just have to accept that I can't use two hands or F keys and just become a pro rusher at the GA? <sighs> fuck's sake.